My passion for the Children's Museum comes from when I was a kid. Can't quite remember why, but I tagged along with my dad on a business trip to Toronto. Dad had to go on business and he taught me how to do the subway there in that city and gave me some money that day and told me this is the, the subway stop that you get off on. There's shops, there's, mu there's museums, there's all kinds of things to do. And I was to meet him at a certain time at the end of the day. And I got off on the subway stop and I don't know that they called it a children's museum, but it was some kind of a museum that I went in there at age, I don't know, 13, 14, 15, and never left the building. It was, and there were kids my age playing. It was just, I had the most fun. Met my dad that evening and said, does Omaha have something like this? And he said, I've never heard of it. And for years, I mean, growing up, I kept going, how come we don't have a children's museum? So then as a parent, I got involved because I wanted my kids to experience what I had experienced years and years before that. this museum would be unrecognizable to anybody uh, coming today. It was uh, many of the vestiges of the old car dealership were still here and Sandy was part of the board at the time and we'd meet late in the evening trying to decide if we wanted to have that first display, our huge expenditure for Omaha. And we were here with drawings on uh, sawhorses and meeting in uh, pretty cold and dark conditions here and Sandy was there consistently, uh, gave great advice and stayed positive, which we all needed at the time, because there was a big question mark if this was going to be something that Omaha would like and would participate in, and how big a risk we were taking with our donors' money. And she was just great at it, and really hands-on, hands-on involvement. When we first got into this building, we had a dinosaur exhibit. We had no money for the backdrop, and so we would come down here and paint leaves and foliage, and my kids were involved in doing that. I think my kids look at a commitment being a long term because my boys are one's out of college one's finishing up college and the boys are like well how come you're still involved with the children's museum mom because we're not there and I and I tell them it, it I, I did it for you boys but I'm doing it for your kids for my nieces my nephews for total strangers kids I want to keep volunteering for the children's museum because this is really important to the community and to the children of this community. Kids learn from playing. They need, they need an environment where no is not spoken, that they're free to run, they're free to explore, they're free to learn. In your own home, there's a lot of boundaries. And at the museum, there shouldn't be any boundaries. And there shouldn't be any definitive answers either. That this is not, you know, one way is not always the correct answer that there's other other areas to explore and it starts with the experience and the exposure that our kids have and, and there's not a better one than this museum and as we get second and third generations coming here that's the fantastic stories uh, when when you hear a parent talking about when they were here uh, so we're getting into that second and third generation and that matches so well with what we need for our community we have filled this building and we filled it with traveling exhibits, we filled it with water play, we filled it with so many more hands-on than what we had before. And it's fun to watch the kids just, they, they can't stop. They turn around and want to go to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing because there's too many exciting things for them to, to look at, to explore, to play. It's fun. It just it radiates from her every time she talks about it. and. That, that doesn't come with every volunteer in every situation. And she is, um, loves this place and, and always will. She's a true believer. And true believers are so hard to find in the world, but Sandy's one of them. She believes in the mission of the Children's Museum. She believes in the children they serve. And that gets all of Sandy. You know, you get 100% when she commits to something, and that's what she's done here. The museum is such a wonderful place to come and visit. And I think it will be Sandy's legacy for all of her hard work and efforts that she put into this museum. Um, it will show all of the years of dedication and commitment that she has. And it will be here for the children of Omaha to enjoy for many years to come. You know, Sandy, um, this is a special day for you. 
and I really want to give you a personal thanks from my heart, uh, from all the work that you've done in the community and the times I've been with you working on those projects and watching you lead us forward. Keep going. Don't stop. Uh, we need you. The community needs you. And thanks so much. I don't think we're done growing. I think that the museum needs to stay as young as, as the kids are. And kids grow all the time. And the, there, there are no limits to what we could do at this children's museum.